Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Carolina. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. All right. I'm great, I'm great. My name is Julia. Julia? Yes, my name is Julia Carolina. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Caro, ¿es la primera vez que está con nosotros, Carolina? No, Or... estoy desde el uno. Ay, perfect. Ok, perfect. Eh, no la vi en el mismo horario. ¿Were you in a different? Estaba con... ¿En un horario diferente? No, en este horario, de 9 a 10. Pero estaba ah. con... Ross, creo que se llama. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Uh -huh. So, welcome. Gracias por unirte. Thank you very much for joining. Ok. And um, I also see Mr. Hugo Alvarenga. Hello. Welcome. Miguel, hello. Hello, Miguel. How are you? Sorry, it's silent. Uh, Miguel, 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 hello. hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm great. What about you? Thank you very much for joining. Gracias por unirse. Mr. Edwin Cuellar, too. Hello. Alfredo Flores, hello. Excellent. All right. So, gracias por unirse. Uh, thank you very much eh, por estar acá puntualitos. All right. And uh, my name is Julia Sarceño. I am going to be your facilitator. Uh, por el módulo básico número 3, ok? So, vamos a, um, let me see, Ale, also, gracias por unirse, Ale, thank you very much, all right, gracias por hacer el esfuerzo de estar acá, chicos. Uh, vamos a dar inicio al módulo número 3, all right? And, uh, well, first, Mayra, hello, hello. How are you, Mayra? Excellent. I see a lot of people. I see Jamie also, Rocio, uh, Mr. Jose Mejia, all right? Uh, also, Mr. Juan Carlos Rivas, all right? Excellent. That is awesome. Uh, gracias por conectarse, all right? Welcome to basic number three, guys. Bienvenidos. I'm very happy to, um, to have you all here, okay? Espero que aprendamos eh, juntos. And uh, eh, Inglés Corporativo les da la más cordial bienvenida, right? Espero sí, que sí. podamos cumplir con sus expectativas, all right? Y las metas de este módulo también. And uh, sí. ya tuvieron experiencia prueba, tra uh, previa, perdón, trabajando con la plataforma, all right? So, vamos a intentar trabajar de la misma manera. Completamos los ejercicios de la plataforma. Uh, cuando se llegue al 80% de, de haberlo completado, automáticamente llega y obtiene su certificado, right? La intención es obtenerlo lo más rápido posible y luego quedarnos con las prácticas, con las eh, tutorías virtuales, ¿verdad? And, uh, as, como se ha hecho de forma anterior, la intención es que usted practique todo lo que ya sabe, lo que va aprendiendo y que vaya mejorando la like. Little by little, right? And um, so, normalmente hacemos grupos, right? Es bastante interactiva. La intención es que la obra sea para ustedes, para práctica, all right? And uh, y hacer las correcciones necesarias para que usted pueda um, mejorar también inglés de la forma, no solamente la escritura, sino también eh, su expresión oral, all right? So, okay. Eh, veo personas nuevas, bienvenidos todos, all right. So, espero que se sientan cómodos con esta modalidad And, y vamos aprendiendo juntos, right? Eh, vamos, bueno, eh, well, de forma general solamente voy a dar las instrucciones, all right. One of them is, por lo general mantenemos los audios eh, apagados, all right. So, para evitar eh, los ruidos, el sonido de fondo, el perro que empieza a ladrar, you know, y que logremos escuchar al resto de compañeros, too. Uh, si tenemos dudas, so pueden activar su micrófono. You can activate it, all right? Um, or 
simplemente levantamos la manita. Eh, a ustedes les aparece dentro de las opciones como levantar la mano. So, levantar la mano significa que tengo una pregunta. Gracias, Juan Carlos. Exactly. So, al levantar la mano, yo puedo ver quién tiene preguntas y de esa forma eh, vamos solventando, right? Eh, también está la parte de chat, all right? So, si tienen dudas, pueden también activar eh, la zona de chat de grupo. And uh, um, yo soy pendiente también de revisarla in case tengamos preguntas o hayan correcciones que hacer. So we can practice at the same time, all right? So, um, well, veo que Vanessa está por acá. And también Claudia Dinora, welcome. Bienvenidas. Vicky, also welcome. And awesome, guys. Tenemos una muy buena asistencia. Espero que sí se mantenga durante todo el transcurso de Principiantes 3, right? Hasta que logremos terminar. So, first of all, uh, thank you, Juan Carlos. Thank you. You too. Welcome. All right. So, first, vamos a comenzar con general information, okay? So, I would like you to tell me uh, your name really quick, super rapidito, all right? Tell me something about you. So, vamos a comenzar with this question. What's your name? Okay. Uh, next one is, what do you do? All right. So, what is your job? Okay. And just one more question. That is, where do you live? All right. So, you can read the questions in the chat. One is, what's your name? What do you do? And where do you live? All right. So, Miguel, let's start with you, please. Una introducción super cortita, right? So, tell us, please. Um, well, welcome to uh, this, this uh, English classroom. Um, my, my, what the, uh, I'm sorry. It's um, okay, it's okay, don't worry. Miguel, tell us, what do you do? What is your job? My job is um, the um, administration. Okay. Administration. Sí. Okay. Very uh, good. Uh, yes. In my my birthday is March uh, thirty one. Okay. Perfect. That's okay. Thank you very much, Miguel. Okay. So that was Miguel. Thank you, guys. We have Mr. Cuellas. Hello, Mr. Cuellar. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, tell us, Mr. Cuellar, what do you do? Uh, I work is... in Lotus Laboratory. Okay, okay, awesome. My job is uh, a chemist. Oh, perfect. Okay, thank you, Mr. Cuellar. That is okay. Ale, let's go with you, Ale. Ale, where do you live? I live in San Salvador. All right, in San Salvador. Thank you. Mayra, tell us, Mayra, what do you do? Oh, wait, wait a second, Mayra, we cannot hear you. Tell us, Mayra, what do you do? I am assistant. Ah, okay, so you're an assistant. Thank you. Jami, uh, where do you live, Jami? I live in Ayutuxtepeque. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Juan Carlos, where do you live, Juan Carlos? I'm sorry, Juan Carlos, we cannot hear you. Um, I'm sorry, I think Juan Carlos has problems with the audio. No lo logramos escuchar, Juan Carlos. All right. Um, me oye, me oye. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you now. Eh, I live in Apopa. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Claudia Dinora, hello, hello. Tell us, Claudia, what do you do? Hello. Uh, I am teacher. Oh, great. What subject? ¿Qué materia enseña? What subject do you Matemática. teach? Matemática. Ooh, Matemática. Math. math. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, we have also Hugo. Hello, Mr. Albarenga. Okay. Uh, my name is Hugo. I am an accountant. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Albarenga. That is great. Carolina, hello. Hello. Tell us, Carolina, what do you do? 
Mm, I am accounting. Ah, all right, so you're an accountant too. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Flores, Alfredo Flores, what do you do? I am an accountant too. Oh, all right, so we have three accountants. Thank you. Uh, Miss uh, Rauda, Rocio Rauda, are you an accountant too? Yes, but I'm an auditor. Really? You're an accountant too? Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Mejia, are you an accountant too? Jose Mejia? Uh, I am. Tell us, Mr. Mejia, what do you do? Uh, I work in San Salvador. Oh, okay. You work in San Salvador. Thank you. That is all right. Uh, Ms. Vilma Leiva, tell us. Are you an accountant? Yes, teacher. Oh, really? Okay, so we have how many? Carolina is an accountant. Alfredo is an accountant. Uh, Rocio is an accountant, yes. Mr. Albarengo is an accountant too? Yes. Do you yes. remember? Yeah, okay, perfect. That's okay, thank you. Mr. We have Hector Orlando, hello. Hello, Miss. Hello, mister. Uh, tell me, where do you live, mister? I live in... I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Where do you live? I, I live in, in Soyapango. Oh, all right, thank you. Are you an accountant? Accountant, a uh, teacher. Oh, you are a teacher. All right, yes. thank you. Uh, Miss... Okay. Blanca de Vasquez, Mrs. Vasquez, tell us, are you an accountant? Uh, hello. Hello. Teacher. I am Blanca de Vasquez. Um, I am a graphic designer. Ah, okay, great. So you're a graphic designer. Thank you, Miss. And uh, Vicky Andrade. Hello, Vicky. What do you do? Hello, teacher. I am architect. Ah, okay, so we have architects. Okay, great, thank you. And uh, all right, excellent, guys. So thank you very much for joining. All right, we are going to get started with the class. Uh, we have, well, first, le voy a compartir acá mi, my, my screen. All right, le voy a compartir my, mi pantalla para que logren ver parte de las actividades que vamos a hacer. All right, my name is Julia Sarceño. You have it here, okay. And this is today's objective. So by the end of the class, you will learn the month and dates, okay? Additionally, you will learn um, to talk about your birthdays, okay? So vamos a poder decir la fecha de cumpleaños, fechas importantes, all right? And uh, you'll be going to, to talk about future plans. So vamos a hablar un poquito también de be going to for future plans. Uh, vamos a hacer una breve introducción, all right? And of course, we are going to practice this tomorrow, okay? Like a little bit more of questions, negative sentences. So today we are going to work with the introduction of the topic. First of all, one of the things that we have for today is month of the year, okay? Los meses del año, month, month of the year. Um, as I said before, si, tem si tenemos preguntas durante el transcurso, podemos levantar la mano, all right? Or la escribimos en el chat y con gusto eh, luego revisamos, okay? Para sacar eh, cualquier duda, para, eh, you know, para que todos estemos en, en la misma línea, right? So first of all, let's go over the month of the year. We have January, we have February, we have March. Que le sigue a March? What, what is next? April. April. Okay, we April. have April. April. Okay. April. Then we have May. 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 We have June. 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 July. 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 Okay. Pongamos, pongamos la atención acá. This is AU, but lo pronunciamos August. August. So August. 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 September. 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 October. October. November. 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 December. 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 Okay. November. 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 December. 
December. December. Okay, very good. So these are the month of the year. Okay, one more time. January. 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 February. 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 March. 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 April. March. April. 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 May. 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 June. May. June. June. July. June. July. 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 August. 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 September. 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 October. 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 November. 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 December. 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 Very good. So they are the months of the year. So first of all, if I want to talk about my birthday, all right, I can say my birthday, my birthday is, okay, my birthday is, and uh, it is something very important is this little part, okay? If I am going to say only the month, I am going to use in, my birthday is in, all right? So, for example, my birthday is in, let me change the color, okay, there we go. So, my birthday is in December, my birthday is in October, my birthday is in May. So, we simply say in para hablar del mes, all right? So, I have a question for you. When is your birthday? Cuando es su cumpleaños? When is your birthday? When is your birthday? All right. Uh, please, everybody, compartamoslo en el chat. Share this in the chat so we can continue. When is your birthday? My birthday, for example, my birthday is in October. Okay, that's it. So when is your birthday? Respondamos la pregunta en la zona del chat, please. When is your birthday? My. In the chat. In la, in la, yes, please. In the part of the chat. So we can continue with the rest of the things, with the rest of the activities. Allow me just a second. Okay, so I see some answers already. Um, mm -hmm. Ale tell, okay, Ale says, my birthday is in May. Okay, Bill Mas says, my birthday is in July. All right, so let's answer them, okay? Let's answer the question in the chat section. Very good. Now, let's continue with this part. Okay, so in, solamente es para el mes. All right, so my birthday is in. Y ahí estamos bien, all right? For example, imagine that we are talking about important celebrations. Y yo quiero decir solo el, el, el mes, right? For example, mother... Mother's Day, all right, el Día de la Madre. Mother's Day is in, and because I'm saying in, puedo decir solamente uh, el mes, all right? So Mother's Day is in. What is the month? Me ayudan con el mes. Can you tell me the month? May. 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 Thank you. Very good. There you go. So Mother's Day is in May, all right? We have, for example, Father's Day. So Father's Day is in Father's Day is in? June. June. Hi, perfect. So Father's Day is in June. So we can simply say the month, all right? Y con el mes está bien. So because we are using in. But now let's just move on a little bit and let's check ordinal numbers. Cuando hablamos de fechas, when we are talking about dates or when we are talking about birthdays, ya no podemos utilizar un número... Um, Cardinal, all right? Like one, two, three. No, se puede. When we are talking about dates, when we are talking about order, when we are talking about birthdays, utilizamos something that is called ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers me dicen el orden, all right? They tell me the order, the sequence, etc. So take a look at this. We normally add TH to the end of a cardinal number to make it an ordinal number. So, si tengo un número normal, like one, le voy a agregar ST, and with ST, ya lo hice ordinal, ya lo puedo utilizar para indicar orden, or dates, okay? But of course, la pronunciación cambia también, all right? 
So for example, this one, el primero, this is called first. So everybody, repitamos, first. 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 Second. 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 Next one, Second. third. 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 Saquemos un poquito la lengua, all right? Third. 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 Now, lo siguiente es, si necesitamos un poquito de esfuerzo, all right? So, la TH se pronuncia como un... So, vamos a sacar un poquito la lengua, all right? And we will make it... So, this is fourth... Uh-huh. Fourth. 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 Next one. Fifth. 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 This one, el siguiente, el seis, yo Fifth. sí lo puedo decir, no es necesario agregarle el sonido de TH. Sí es aceptable si usted dice solo six. Six. Sí. Sí. six. It's okay. No es necesario. Six. All right. So it's okay. It's fine. Next one. Seventh. Seven. 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 Eighth. Ninth. Nine. 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 Tenth. 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 Okay, so if you pay attention here, we have first, one is T, two is number two, and D. And if you pay attention also, son las últimas dos letras, all right? Is T, and D, R, D, T, H. So, las últimas dos letras, se la ponemos al número, all right? To indicate that they are ordinal numbers. Okay. So, if you check all of them here, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, etc., and so forth, todos tienen la TH para indicar ordinal numbers. And if you pay attention here, uh, just allow me a second, guys. I am going to mute. Um, <coughs> allow me just a second. Let me just mute the microphones so you can hear me better. Okay, there we go. So if you check this out, those tienen and TH, all right? Because we are talking about ordinal numbers. And also something very important is this. Cuando llegamos al 20 y llegamos al 21, one more time, cambiamos al décimo, um, Vigésimo primero, right? So this is 20 and we come back. 21st. So 21st. Acá están los dos. El 22, vigésimo segundo. So one more time. 20 second. So volvemos otra vez a estos números that you have from 1 to 10, all right? 23rd. No se cambia 20, sino que segundo número, all right? 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, and then 30th. Y luego otra vez, 31st, 32nd, y volvemos a los números from 1 up to 9. So from 1st up to 9, all right? So for example, if I want to talk about my birthday, my birthday is, y algo bien importante is this. Before, I mentioned that when we are talking about only the month, we can say in Father's Day is in June. And it is good. But now, with ordinal numbers, yo sí puedo dar la fecha exacta, all right? But if it is an ordinal number, I am going to use the next. Uh, check this out. My birthday is, and because now I want to give, I want to say the day, the specific date, all right? So my birthday, I don't say in, I am going to use on. So on is para indicar ex, la fecha exacta in which I did one specific activity, all right? So my birthday is on. Next then, primero va el mes, October, all right? Y luego la fecha. My birthday is on October 6th, all right? So, si yo digo solo October, my birthday is... No podría usar on. My birthday is in October. Yes? But because I'm saying the specific date, my birthday is on October. And then, digo la fecha. My birthday is on October 6th. ¿Estamos bien? Are we good? We're good. 
Do you have any question? Tenemos alguna pregunta? No. Well, si tenemos preguntas, podemos compartirlas, right, en la sección de chat. And we can check them later. All right. So, one more time. Si es la, uh, all right. Allow me a second. Miguel has a question. Hello, Miguel. Tell me, how can I help you? Uh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Tell me, Miguel. Sí, la diferencia entre in October o on October. No, no, no capté la idea de cuándo ah. es que es in y cuándo es on. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me explain this one more time, okay? My birthday is in October, okay? Uh, first, this is the biggest difference, okay? Pretty much, this is it. My birthday is in October. My birthday is in December. My birthday is in March. Pero si digo la fecha exacta, oh, my birthday is on. My birthday is on October 6th. My birthday mm. is on a July the, the 1st. Okay. okay. So, okay. fecha exacta, on, solo el mes, in. Excellent. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Any other question? Or are we okay? Are we good? All right. So, let's take a look at this. I have a couple of questions for you. Okay. Uh, by the way, esa información está en la plataforma. This is in the platform. Okay. Hay un video con la pronunciación de cada una de ellas. So, eh, as soon as we finish, podemos ingresar. All right, so you can get there y podemos practicarlas too. So, first of all, I have some questions for you, okay? Um, answer the following questions. It says, question number one, when is your birthday? When is your mother's birthday? When is your father's birthday? ¿Cuándo es el cumpleaños de su mamá, right? El cumpleaños de su papá. When is your son's birthday? ¿Cuándo es el cumpleaños de su hijo? All right? And if you don't have a son, so you can change it, you can say, when is your daughter's birthday? El cumpleaños de su hija. And if you don't have, well, podemos cambiarlo. When is your brother's birthday? ¿Cuándo es el cumpleaños de su hermano? All right? Or, when is your sister's birthday? Okay? So, podemos ir cambiándolo. Not necessarily, it is just one specific word over here. Uh, your son's birthday, your daughter's birthday, your brother's birthday, or your sister's birthday, all right? So, les voy a dar dos minutitos. I will give you two minutes, all right? Ahorita escribamos la respuesta, please. Write the answer on your notebooks. So, I will be right here. Si tenemos preguntas, please let me know, all right? Let me make this smaller. Thank you. 
Okay, everybody, are we finished? ¿Ya terminamos? Did you answer the questions? Yes. Yes? Okay, perfect. That is awesome. Okay, very good. So, um, para que practiquemos un poquito, in order for us to practice, vamos a hacer grupos. We are going to get in groups, okay? And uh, my birthday is on April. Ah, okay, very good, very good. Estaba leyendo las respuestas del chat too. That is awesome. Solo no se nos olvide que el orden es TH, right? TH. Okay, very good. Okay, everybody. So, vamos a hacer grupos. Please uh, practice with the people, all right? With Practice with your classmates and uh, with the people you get together. So, allow me just a second. Okay, here we go. So, let's practice. Practiquemos tanto como podamos, all right? And if it is possible, podemos cambiar las preguntas y hacerlas más generales. All right, when is your friend's birthday? All right, so podemos cambiarles, no problem. So, and here we go in three, two, one. Juan Carlos, hello. Hello, hello, Juan Carlos. I'm sorry, Juan Carlos, I couldn't, eh, can I listen to you? For some reason, no me logré entrar al grupo. Uh, let me just a second here. Okay. Eh, Blanca de Vasquez, hello, miss. Blanca, Blanca, hello. Bueno, la idea es esa, espérame. Mayra, es it's a romantic birthday. <laughs> sí. Este... My birthday is, is casi, no sé, no me acuerdo cómo se diría casi, casi. Halloween birthday. <laughs> my, my birthday is on October 30. Oh, the 30th. Okay. <laughs> casi, casi Halloween birthday. Uh -huh. Almost. Almost Halloween. Uh -huh. Okay. Almost. Almost. Uh -huh. But that is great because you can get uh, presents. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia febrero? Febrero. Ay, ¿Cómo es? February. February. <laughs> February, yeah. Hay varias formas de pronunciarlo. Dígame la más fácil, por favor. Ok. Uh, February. February. Yeah. Ok. Uh. You can do that. Ok. You can do that. That's ok. All right. Uh, Claudia, hello, Claudia. Hello. When is your birthday? It is um, November 18th. Ah, okay, November 18th. All right, that's okay. Mr. Mejia, hello. Hello, teacher. 
Ah, there you are. Okay, excellent. When is your birthday? Uh, it's it's a uh, it's on uh -huh. in my tenth. It's May tenth. All right, very good. Oh, Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Okay, okay, good, 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 nice. <laughs> that is great. Okay, everybody. So let's continue practicing. Okay, voy a ir a monitorear los demás. All right. So continue, guys. When is your birthday, teacher? Oh, my birthday was in well on October six, some days ago. <laughs> like <laughs> last week, I think. Yeah, last week. Uh huh. So October 6th, all right. Thank you for asking, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. Los, de los dejo, regreso en un segundo, all right. Continue, guys. Continue. My mother's birthday, birthday is on my May. Uh, May. Right. Okay, very good. Uh, just, just remember, como de, digo solo el mes, sería in May, mm -hmm. all right? Or, yeah. podría, o sería completo, on May 1st, on May 2nd, on May 3rd. So, necesito decir la fecha tú, all right? Uh, so, mm -hmm. Vicky, when is it? When, uh, when is your mother's birthday, Vicky? My mother's birthday is in May. Ah, oh, perfect. In May. That's awesome. Very good. Exactly. That's the way we do it. Okay, guys. ¿Cómo vamos acá? ¿Todo bien? Is okay. everything good? Good. It's good. It's good. Okay. It's perfect. Good. Perfect. Thank That's you, teacher. Right. Problem. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Voy a ir a supervisar a, um, well, a monitorear los demás. All right. Continue, guys. Okay. I'll be okay. with you in some seconds. September 15th. 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 Okay. Uh, when, when is uh, Mother's Day? It's it's on May 10th. Yes. Good, very good. That's nice. That's okay. Uh, what about Carolina and Alfredo? Have you talked to them and hablado con ellos too? Have you asked them? ¿Les han hecho preguntas? Not yet. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. All right. Uh, so when is your uh, when is your birthday? Ale, when is your birthday? Uh, it is it is on May 5th. Ah, May 5th. All right. That's okay. Yes. Uh, Carolina, when is your birthday? Uh, it is on May 15th. Oh, May 5th and May 15th. All right. Very close. Uh, Ms. Raude, Rocio, what about you? When is your birthday? Uh, it's on January 5th. Okay, January. Great. And Mr. Flores, what about you? It's on May 2nd. Ma okay, mm -hmm. so May 2nd, May 5th for Ale, and May 15th for Carolina. All right, okay. Oh. Very close, very close. <laughs> Only Rocio, you know, <laughs> that is January. Okay, mm -hmm. nice, very yeah. good. Okay, everybody, so sigamos practicando. Continue practicing, okay? I'll be, voy a revisar a los demás grupos, all right? So continue. Okay. Mercedes, when is you some bird? Um, hello, my, my sister. Hello there. My sister Bridine. My sister Bridine. Um, in November. November eh, in on is on November eh, 40. November 14th? 14. 14. Okay. So uh, is Beatriz's birthday on November 14th? My birthday. When is your birthday? When does the complaint is Beatriz? My. When is your birthday? My birthday. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Go ahead. Bye. My birthday. July, déjeme ver cuándo es. All right. 19th. No, July 19th. July 19th. Okay, 19th. No se le olvide el TH. Okay, 19th. Uh, ¿Cómo, cómo okay. te llamas? 19th. Okay. Only like 19th y luego es una TH. Es un sonido de... 19th. 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 No 15, sino que... Nineteenth. Le agregamos un sonido de TH, right? Como un poquito de aire at the end. All right. Mr. Juarez, what about you? When is your birthday, Mr. Juarez? My birthday is on uh, March 9th. Ah, okay. Very good. The 9th. Uh, Juan Carlos, what about yours? When is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is on April mm -hmm. uh, 4th. All right. Very good. Yes. Uh, don't forget that it's April. April. Uh, April. 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 And uh, and normally lo pronunciamos como birthday. Birth. Birthday. Birthday. Birth. Birth. Yeah, so sacamos un poquito la lengua, all right? So birthday. Okay, guys, so one more minute y regresamos a la sesión principal, all right? Okay. So let's continue. Thank you, guys. Okay. Hello, hello. Okay, so let's continue. I was listening to most of you. Excelente trabajo, that was really good. Uh, solo no se nos olvida la pronunciación de birthday. Okay, it's birth, y sacamos un poquito la lengua, birth, y luego day, birthday. Okay, so de lo contrario suena como una palabra totalmente diferente. So when is your birthday? So everybody, repitamos, when is your birthday? When is your birthday? Very when good. That's okay. Birthday. 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 Exactly. When is your birthday? All right. So, esa when es la, is your birthday? Okay. Birth. Birth. So, sacamos birth. un poquito birth. la lengua. A little bit. All right. Birth. So, you birth. don't forget it. <laughs> that is okay. All right. Very good. Uh, so, now let's continue with the second part. Okay. So, we have a couple yeah. of minutes. Uh, tell me, Juan Carlos. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. So, <laughs> let's continue with the second part, okay? And as I mentioned, íbamos a hacer una pequeña introducción a futuro, all right? So, we are going to, first of all, check a little conversation. Esa conversación la tienen en, el, en el, la plataforma, okay? You have it there. So, let me just zoom it a little bit so you can take a look at it. And this one says, happy birthday, okay? So, let's repeat it. We have Angie and we have Philip. Okay, so repeat after me. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Thank you. Well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Well, well, well to I am going to celebrate my birthday. my birthday. Fabulous. Fabulous. When Fabulous. is your birthday exactly? When, when is your birthday? birthday? It is August 9th. It, it is August 9th. Sunday. 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 So what are your plans? So, so what, what are, are your plans? plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Well, well my friend Kayla, friend Kayla is going to my own for, for dinner. 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 Nice. 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 Is she going to order a cake? Is she, Is she going, going to order, order a cake? 
Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. Yeah. to me. It's so embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Okay, so this one, the person said it's so embarrassing, me da pena, right? It's embarrassing that they are like, happy birthday to you, you know? So it is kind of embarrassing. But now let's take a look okay. at the plans they have, okay? One of the plans is, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Me va a llevar a cenar. Number two, uh, the person asks, is she going to order a cake? So, va a tener un pastel? Well, the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday. So, son los planes that this person has for the future. Let's take a look at it. We use be going to, I am going to order a cake. My friend is going to take me for dinner. Para hablar de planes a futuro, all right? So, this is the structure that we normally have, okay? So, estas son estructuras bien generales, all right? And some planes bien generales. For example, number one. I am going to study Chinese. Sandy is going to visit museums. They are going to travel to Beijing, all right? So if you pay attention, we have subject, we have verb B, all right? Verb B is I am, Sandy is, they are, okay? Then going to, we don't change going to, and then the verb, but the verb in the base form, that means Sin S, sin ING, sin ningún cambio. I am going to study Chinese. Sandy is going to visit museums. They are going to travel to Beijing. So we are talking about uh, plans for the future, okay? Now I have a question for you. What are your plans for your next birthday, all right? Sé que algunos eh, todavía no van a tener su cumpleaños hasta el próximo, hasta el 2020, all right? But what are your plans? Pensemos un poquito en los planes. What are your plans for your next birthday, all right? ¿Cuáles son los planes para el próximo cumpleaños? First of all, vamos a seguir la estructura. I am going to, y luego el verbo, all right? For example, one of my plans <coughs> is on my next birthday, I am going to um, I don't know, I am going to buy a piñata maybe, okay? So maybe I am going to buy a piñata, right? So I am going to, y luego el verbo, I am going to buy a piñata. So remember that esto de acá es la estructura of verb to be. So esto no lo cambio, right? On my next birthday, I am going, I am going to, have a great party, all right? I am going to have a great party. Voy a tener una muy buena fiesta, all right? I am going to have a great party. Maybe voy a comprar soda. I am going to buy soda. I am going to buy a cake. So do me a favor. Les voy a dar un minuto a Lunch. what? I will give you two minutes. Oh, yeah. I am going to, voy a, uh, I am going to have lunch. I am going to have Voy a almorzar. I am going to have lunch with my friends, okay? With my friends. So, esos son los planes, right? Remember, usamos I am going to para planes a futuro, all right? No se nos olvide el puntito al final. Don't forget the period. Y comenzamos con letra mayúscula, all right? So, I will give you two minutes. Escribamos un par de planes que tengan para su próximo cumpleaños, all right? Y si tenemos questions, eh, please compartámoslas en el chat, all right? Share them in the chat as well. Juan Carlos, tell me, Juan Carlos. Puedo poner, puedo hacer así, I am going to travel Israel. I am going to, yeah, of course, of course. That sounds great, like a oh. really good plan, yes. Uh, uh, yes. I am going to travel to USA. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, thank you. No problem. That's okay. I am going to visit USA, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I am going to visit USA. All right. Yes. Over. Next day. Next. Yes. Next. Next or I am, yeah. Or I am going to go. También se puede repetir. I am going to go. It is okay. It's fine. 
Sayang kungfu mariachi. All right, so uh, yeah, I am reading some of the comments um, that your classmates have in the chat. For example, Mercedes says, I am going to go to the beach. That is good. I am going to travel to Israel. All right, that is okay. So what about the rest of you? What are you going to do? ¿Qué van a hacer? What are you going to do for your next birthday? Okay, so ¿qué van a hacer? What are you going to do? Okay, very good. Uh, well, I see here some of your plans, which, has, which are awesome. I am going to travel to Cuba, to Miami, okay, to the movie theater. I am going to, Edwin says, I am going to buy a cake. I am going to travel to Mexico. Good, that is nice. Perdón, that se is... me fue la, se me fue la N por la M, perdón. Y uh... no lo separé. Oh, okay, no problem. I am going to, all right, to preach in Mexico. I am going to visit my family in Boston. Okay, nice, that sounds great. Okay, you understood this topic really fast. I'm very glad. Okay, very good, very good. Te lo entendieron super rápido, that is awesome, that's really good. Okay, so tell me, tell me, uh, what are your plans? Ahora que ya los escribieron, just tell me, which are some of the, of the plans that you have for your uh, next birthday. Uh, Hector, thank you, uh, Hector, tell me. Hi. Hello Hi. there, tell me. Uh, I'm going to uh, visit uh, my family in Boston City. Ah, okay, very good. So I am, you are going to visit your family. Thank you, Hector. And uh, Ceci, what are your plans? I I am going to visit my family. I am going to play to relax. I am going to agree with my daughters. Okay, so you are going to visit your family and you are going to relax, you said. So relax, right? Play relax. You are going to play and relax. Okay. You're going to play and relax. Thank you, Mercedes. What are you going to do, Mercedes? I'm going to buy a bicycle. I don't have a bicycle, never. Ah, okay. But can you ride a bicycle? Can you? I don't ride. I can't? 
I don't get. I can. <laughs> oh, you can. So you are going to buy a bicycle. Well, then that means that el plan también es aprender a andar en bicicleta, right? So you are going to <laughs> learn. You are going to learn to ride a bicycle. Very good. That sounds great. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me see. I have also Vicky. Uh, tell me, Vicky, what's your plan? My plan... <laughs> I'm, I am going to eat pizza with my friends. Oh, okay, nice. That, that is a really nice plan, okay? It includes food. Mr. Cuellar, what are you going to do for your next birthday? I'm going to buy a present for me. Uh, oh, okay. What are you going to buy for yourself? ¿Qué se va a comprar? What are you going to buy for yourself? Like a watch. Watch. Okay. A pair of yeah. shoes. Watch. When is your birthday? Shoes, clothes. Ah, oh, okay. My birthday shoes. is on February 19th. Ah, okay. So next year. Well, you have some time to think a little bit about the gift. Okay. Very good. Thank you. And uh, yeah, you have a lot of time. Jamie, tell me, what are you going to do for your next birthday? What is the plan? I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. Okay. Oh, pardon. Uh, no problem. Tell me, tell me. I'm going for a walk in the park. Ah, okay. Very good. That sounds like a really healthy activity to do. Very good. And Carolina, uh, we will finish with you. Tell me, Carolina, what are your plans? I'm going, going to go dinner with my family. Very good. So you are going, some of you are going to have pizza. Some of you are going to buy presents. Okay. Uh, some of you are going to travel. So I'm very glad that you have plans. That is awesome. Okay. So pretty much, guys, I guess we accomplished the goal for today. Los objetivos de la clase eran uh, describir nuestra fecha de cumpleaños describir, uh, poder utilizar los números ordinales, all right? uh, poder identificar los meses del año, all right? y también una pequeña introducción a futuro, which I'm very happy porque la comprendieron súper rápido cómo utilizar I am going to, which is awesome. Oh. Antes de terminar, do we have any question? ¿Tenemos preguntas o todo está perfecto? Are we like perfect? And perfect. Perfect. Okay, awesome. I'm very glad to hear that. Okay, everybody. So, gracias por su attendance. That was very important. Gracias por participar, which is really, really good. Uh, Mr. Mejia, tell me. Sí, este, la pregunta mía es, este, se puede, en vez de decir going to, se puede decir going to, se puede decir gonna. Se puede decir, pero eh, solamente, well, first, no se puede escribir. Tendría que ser de forma oral. But gonna es demasiado informal. Eh, ah. so nosotros por lo general decimos I am going to. Es la forma formal. But sí se puede. Eh, es como el inglés diario, ¿verdad? Pero para que lo comprendan independientemente de donde se vaya, sí sería I am going to. I'm gonna, going to. no okay. muchas personas lo entienden a veces. Por eso, I am ah. going to. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. okay. You, can, you can definitely use it. Juan Carlos, tell me, just to finish up. Eh, de parte de todos mis compañeros, como siempre el vocero que me ocupan ellos, eh, queremos darle la bienvenida a Teacher y gracias por estar con nosotros en, este, en esta plataforma, en esta clase que nos está dando, queremos aprender. Ahí están levantando los deditos y todos están haciendo. Eh, cumplimos el objetivo con Mayra de que usted estuviera con nosotros porque queremos aprender más y queremos ponerlo en el objetivo que para en diciembre ya tenemos que estar hablando con usted en inglés. Yo eso espero no también. <risa> Muchísimas gracias. Gracias por el voto de confianza. Espero que, que sí, ¿verdad? Que participamos lo más posible. Eh, eh, una hora no es suficiente. Entonces, siempre, si usted tiene la oportunidad de practicar, eh, practique afuera y acá eh, no, lo, lo maximizamos, right uh, Pero también no se quede solo con la clase. Intentemos trabajar con la plataforma. Y si encuentran algo ya más, avancé, compártanlo, ¿verdad? Right? Compártanlo. Ya avancé a la 2. 
que para eso es excelente. Esa es la intención, completarla antes del tiempo. All right. So thank you, everybody. Uh, nos vemos el día de mañana. See you at 9 p.m. Have a good okay. night. See you. See you. See you. Bye. 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 B